Now that we've reviewed the contents of the template, let's run through the workflow to see how everything fits together. Like a large event, this workflow is actually made up of lots of moving pieces, and we'll cover each one sequentially to make things easier. So we're gonna talk through preparing for the event. This is gonna include brainstorming and planning, as well as creating and updating the event project plan. We'll talk through event registration and purchasing. So this will include things like submitting expenses and registering attendees and sponsors. We'll talk through running the event. So that's going to include the event checklist. And then finally, we'll cover gathering feedback on the event. So we'll show you how to actually gather that feedback through forms and then how to review that feedback to make improvements for next time. The first stage of event planning involves brainstorming and planning. This stage is critical to the success of your event as it sets the foundation for all subsequent planning and execution. During this stage, you'll collaborate with your team to come up with event ideas, set goals and objectives, and create a plan of action. To help with this stage, we recommend using the event brief doc. This document is a comprehensive guide that will walk you through all of the important elements of your event, from the overall concept to the nitty gritty details. Let's take a closer look at the two pages of the event brief doc that will be particularly helpful during this brainstorm and planning stage. The first page is the summary page. This page provides an overview of your event, including its purpose, target audience, and key details such as the date and location. It also includes sections for brainstorming and outlining your event goals and objectives. The benefit of using this page includes having a clear and concise summary of your event that you can share with stakeholders and ensuring that everyone on your team is aligned on the event's purpose and the objectives. The second page is the event schedule page. This page allows you to create a detailed schedule for your event, including timelines, activities, and important milestones. You can also use this page to assign tasks and responsibilities to team members. The benefits of using this page include having a clear roadmap for your event and ensuring that everyone on your team knows exactly what they need to do and when. Overall, the brainstorming and planning stage is all about setting the foundation for your event. By using the event brief doc and its helpful pages like the summary and event schedule pages, you can ensure that you have a solid plan in place and are ready to move on to the next stage of event planning. So once you've brainstormed on goals and milestones, it's time to put your planning into action. This is where the event project plan list comes in handy. The event project plan list is a detailed list containing all of the necessary steps and actions for planning, executing, and marketing an event from start to finish. It's going to help you organize your tasks for different fields, plan time, manage resources, and visualize dependencies for each event. Use this list to capture and monitor key actions for event briefs, event phases, and track and plan progress. The board view actually provides a drag and drop Kanban interface that allows you to organize tasks by different fields, while the Gantt view is going to allow you to plan time, manage resources, and visualize dependencies for each event. Taking a deeper dive into this event project planning list, you can see that currently your tasks are grouped by the event phase. So the event phase is actually one of the custom fields that are already provided in this template. Opening up one of those phases, so if we look at the planning phase here, you can very clearly see the different steps that have been allocated across the planning phase. And then for each step, you have the ability to add an assignee. You can update things like priority, start dates, due dates, You've got room for comments here, so any communications that you're making across any of these steps can be captured within context. And then finally, we've got our status, so we know once we've actually completed these steps, and we're also capturing the event phase as one of our custom fields. Next, let's talk about event registration and managing expenses. Managing event registration and sponsorship in ClickUp is super easy. ClickUp has tons of tools to help you with managing event registration and sponsorship. Use the event registration form to register your attendees. This form has fields to capture registrant details, such as attendee name 
and email address. Use the specialized fields to gather industry and level of registration to segment and personalize communication to attendees and target them with specific content. The form submissions will be tracked as tasks in the registrants list, making it easy to monitor registrations and follow up with attendees. Use the event sponsor form to register sponsors. This form will capture important details such as sponsor name, contact information, and sponsorship level. The sponsor submissions will be tracked as tasks as the sponsors and exhibitors list, making it easy to monitor sponsor registrations and follow up with them. Sponsor package examples have also already been provided, which correlate to the sponsorship level custom field that can later be used for sorting, filtering, and automated communications, which we'll highlight later. Next, let's talk about submitting expenses. Submitting expenses can also be streamlined through ClickUp Forms. By using a form to gather expenses, you can reduce the risk of errors or omissions in expense reporting, which can help ensure compliance with company policies or regulatory requirements. Use the expense form to capture and track all of your event-related expenses in one place. All expenses submitted through the expense form are automatically added as tasks in the expenses list, allowing you to easily assign them to team members and track their progress. Use the checkbox to mark items as fully paid. The form also has sections for expense categories, details, and the ability to upload bills and receipts. Use the categories custom field to help identify cost centers and easily sort and filter different expenses. Now let's talk about running the event. On the day of the event, you'll most likely be on the go with lots to keep track of. The event day checklist in ClickUp helps you keep track of important tasks that need to be completed before the event starts and as the event progresses. You can even use the ClickUp mobile app for quick and easy access as you're on the go. The event day checklist is actually going to live within the event day checklist task, which is under the event project plan list. The checklist includes three essential tasks, validate venue setup, validate vendor setup, and validate guest speaker and exhibitor arrivals. Before the event starts, it's gonna be important to validate that the venue is set up. This includes checking the seating arrangements, stage setup, lighting, sound systems. Once you've validated the setup, you can check off this task in the event day checklist. Vendors play an important role in the success of an event. It's essential to ensure that each vendor has set up their booth or station correctly. This includes checking that they have the necessary equipment and supplies. And once you've validated vendor setup, you can check off this task in the event day checklist. Finally, guest speakers and exhibitors are an integral part of the event. It's important to ensure that they arrive on time and are ready to go. Once they've arrived, you can check off this task in the event day checklist. Each task is important to the success of the event. And with the checklist, you can quickly see which tasks are needed to be completed and check them off as you go. And just a reminder, you can do this all through the ClickUp mobile app. So if you're running through the event and checking off different items as you go, use the ClickUp mobile app as a way to quickly reference what you've already completed and what still needs to be done. Once you're done running a successful event, it's time to gather feedback. We use our feedback to review the successes and plan for improvements on future events. Use the two feedback forms to gather feedback from sponsors and attendees. Use the attendee feedback form to gather feedback from your attendees. The survey includes questions on overall experience, venue, staff, and two free form sections for what attendees liked and room for improvement. You can do the same for sponsors. Use the sponsor feedback form to gather feedback from your sponsors. This form includes fields to gather feedback on the overall experience, but also on whether the event will have a positive impact on their business goals. Because we've already collected all of the sponsor and attendee information, including email addresses that have actually already been added to an email field, we can use ClickUp's emailing feature to send the feedback forms automatically using our automations. Simply set up the email integration Draft the email you plan to use thanking recipients for their attendance and encouraging detailed feedback with a link to the form. And by the way, you can use ClickUp AI to write this email for you. 
And then finally, set the trigger and the feedback emails will be sent directly via ClickUp. Once the survey responses start coming in, we'll want to review them and make note of any common themes or issues that arise. Feedback responses have been separated into two different lists, one for sponsors and one for attendees. Each list contains the feedback questions in the description as a reference, and each response will be collected as an individual task that then can be used for reporting. Use the feedback gathered from both attendees and sponsors to inform future event planning decisions and make changes as necessary. Also, make sure to follow up with attendees and sponsors to let them know how their feedback was incorporated and how it helped improve future events. Thanks for joining the session on large event planning and ClickUp. By using ClickUp, event planning can be more organized, transparent, and easier to track, leading to better outcomes and increased success for marketing teams. We covered preparing for an event, so we talked through brainstorming and planning using ClickUp Docs. We talked through creating and updating the event project plan using the event project plan list. Next, we talked through event registration and purchasing. We talked about how you can leverage forms to both manage attendee and sponsor registration, as well as leveraging forms for submitting and tracking expenses. We also talked through running the event, so we talked through how you can actually use a checklist to keep track of every aspect of your event so nothing falls through the cracks using the ClickUp mobile app. And finally, we talked about how to actually gather feedback on an event. So we talked to you how you can gather and review feedback and how you can even automate your feedback requests. I wanted to thank you again for all the time that you spent in learning more about how to successfully incorporate ClickUp into your event planning and execution. Make sure to check out our other university courses if you're interested in learning more about how to leverage ClickUp across all aspects of marketing. And also be sure to check out some of the additional resources that we have linked below.